Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. Hi, I'm Shireen Tan. Welcome back to the show today. We have some wines today from Lake County, California. And I am excited. Maybe you don't know where Lake County is, but you should. And we'll talk to you about it a little bit. You know, first of all, we have producers from, we have wines from this producer, Hawk and Horse, here. Uh, we're drinking out of Gabriel Gold glasses. We used our Corvin Model 2 Elite to extract the wines. Let's get into it. Let's go over it. <clears throat> so what you know, you what you're gonna want to know is you have Napa Valley, the world famous Napa Valley, and that's in Napa County. Just adjacent, just north of that is Lake County, and it's known for you know having a similar climate, producing some nice Cabernet Sauvignons. Actually, these wines are from the Red Hills AVA, and why is that significant for us? Because when we visited Napa a few weeks ago, we actually tasted from a producer from Red Hills, Obsidian Ridge that's from Obsidian right, yeah. Wine Company. It was Cabernet Sauvignon. 2015 for 30 US dollars. That was a bargain. What did you think about that wine from the City and Ridge? Accessible, <coughs> fresh, excellent price. Yeah, yeah. And it still has that Napa Valley characteristic. It still yeah. did. And you know, Obsidian Ridge, we're talking about uh, we're talking about those, they have vines all the way up to about 2,800 feet, 3,000 mm -hmm. feet, mm -hmm. so close to 1,000 meters. I know hawk and horse are close to about 700 meters, 2,000 feet in elevation. Let's get into the, some of the wine, shall we? Let's go for it. Hawk and horse is a biodynamic producer. They farm biodynamically. They are Demeter certified, so you know that they're going to care about the vineyards. You know, we're huge on that. This is the 2013 Red Hills Lake County Cabernet Sauvignon. 1,500 cases made. You know, I say jokingly that Lake County is the place for bargain Cabernet Sauvignon, mm -hmm. but this is 70 U.S. dollars. Well, maybe it's going <coughs> to deliver a lot of value. So 2,000, well, I hope so. Too, you know, we did a perspective tasting while we were in Napa where we tasted 2013, 14, and 15 Cabernet Sauvignons next to each other. 13, 2013 is considered to be the vintage of the of the century in Napa. Mm -hmm. Those wines still hard, still very structured, not ready to drink. So let's give this a go here. Sure. Shall we? First of all, dark, inky color on this Cabernet Sauvignon. Great nose. Rocking nose. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that nose? What are you picking up? There's a bit of clay nose to it. It's also a little bit floral. I love the floral lift. Chocolate. Sweet cedar you get in there. Definitely a lot of sweet cedar. But you still get the cabby flavors, the cassis, the black cherry, mm -hmm. uh, the capsicum, yada, yada, yada. But I think I think the old worldliness kind of seduced me in. Mm. Oh, black fruit, right? Black fruit to me. This is really nice. Mm. Right? Ripe? Let's give this a go. I love the tannins. Um, it's a little bit sandy, but it's small and nice, and it gives a good structure. Very nice shoulder, broad mid palate. This is really good wine. The tannins uh, are not as hard as other 2013 Cabernet Sauvignon we've had from Napa. Uh, mm. <clears throat> in the world of Cabernet Sauvignon, 70 US dollars, I know it's not cheap, but I think this is a good wine for me. Some a type of wine that's going to get 4.3 out of 5 out of me, easy. 92, 93 plus point wine for critics. You're liking this a lot, right? I like the menthol finish as well that I'm just getting. It's like dark fruit, but yes, yeah, so fresh at the same time. Is there a style in, I've got an AVA in my head, a style like from Napa of this kind of wine that you think is similar? I can't think of any. A specific AVA? No. The Howell Mountains we tasted to remind me a lot of this. Mm, I would think Howell Mountain is bigger and more tannic. Not for me. Okay. Yeah. This is clocking in at 14.1 alcohol, so alcohol is under control. Really good wine. Uh, Huck and Horse, thanks. Uh, I, good wine. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to say on that? No, I want to drink this later <laughs> as well. Put it in here. Put it in here. <laughs> so many wines. We're doing three episodes. So many wines. The stream's like, I'm going to drink this later. This is a good wine. The next we have, this is the style of wine that's near and dear to Shireen <laughs> This is a port style wine from Hawk and Horse, 2012 Red Hills Lake County Latigo. This is port style Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it, actually, during the fermentation, they add grape brandy, so it stops the fermentation. Mm -hmm. So there's still residual sugar, higher alcohol, 18 degrees of alcohol. Uh, this for a half three seven three point sorry 375 milliliters, so half a regular bottle, 50 U.S. dollars, 
18.8 alcohol. Why don't you tell everybody why port style wines are so uh, near and dear to you? Oh, it was the the first wine that I had, and it drew me in and made me fall in love with wine just from the very first sip when I was a little kid. So this is kind of like a vintage style yeah. port, so to speak, a biodynamic one at that. Let's give this a go. Pretty nice. Mm. Uh, what I like about this, I'm not a huge fan of port wine. We were in Oporto uh, a couple years ago. We did we did some port tastings. For me, I like dessert wines a lot. I like sweet ones a lot. But port, sometimes the alcohol comes and it like, burns my nose off, and I don't like that so much. This is very ruby port style yeah. for me. Even though it's what made like a vintage port, quote unquote. Excuse me, I'm gassy yeah, today. <laughs> At least it's coming out out here. <laughs> yeah, Chocolate. Sweet cherry. Sweet cherry. Sweet cedar, spices. You're the port, so, yeah, I get the cinnamon and the spice. You are the port snob, not sports like snob, but... anise, kind what, of spiciness. Are you happy with the nose that you're smelling on? I like the nose, I like it a lot, yeah. You're more in the port than I am. Let's give this a little bit of a go, shall we? I have a question that I actually don't know. Is this entire AVA volcanic soy? Okay. I know there's a lot of that volcanic mm -hmm. soil in it. Fortified wine, you're going to get the sweetness, you get the sweet cherry flavors. It is dessert wine, chocolate. Chocolate's going to pair nice with this. I, I love the fact that this, the alcohol is not ripping my face off. Mm. Really? I mean, I'm... I, I'm what, what's very important to me is, well, I don't drink a lot of pot or sherry anymore, but what's important to me is the acidity. I love, like, I generally, okay, how do I put it? I like sweet wine. But I want it to be fresh as well. So that's what I look for in all pot and fortified wine. And this has beautiful freshness. And this is rich. And this is a wine that is dense. Uh, we could age this bad boy, I think, right? I'm going to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> for me, uh, for me, it's hard for me to score port wines because I don't love them as much as Shireen. But in terms of quality, you obviously feel the quality here. Mm. I'm going to say 4.4 out of 5. I think this is pretty darn impressive. I really don't know how to gauge this because this is like, I, I'm trying, I have a reference of pot and sherry, but this is like silky in the front, but it's not really silky. It has tannins, it's got acidity, it finishes a little bit hot, and it has a little bit of tannins on the finish. I don't know, I like it. <laughs> if you're there, check it out. We will put their link in the description box. I also put Obsidian Ridge. Those wines are very impressive too. Mm -hmm. Strong showing by Hawk and Force. I know they make yeah. a reserve Cabernet Sauvignon. I was very happy with this episode. Yourself? Very, very much. Oh, you like it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, check out their wines. We like them a lot. And if you like this... Wait, did you say anything else? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. We, we will, will see, see you at the next episode.